Hello everyone, this is going to be a memory keeping plan with me for the week of October 24th through the 30th. I am using this kit called Lazy Ween from Apple Blossom Prints and I'm using Chunky Dots, Silver Hollow, or maybe she just call it Holographic, um, underlays from Plana Hannah. <clears throat> so... I do think this is a little choppy. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell um, when I was filming, especially the base. My uh, five-year-old kept coming at, up to me asking me to take apart Legos and put apart, like put them together, take them apart. Like I'm like, finally, I was like, do you know I'm filming? Like, can I just please get through filming? Um, so after that, she kind of was like, oh, okay, mom. Uh, but yeah, so I had to cut those two scenes scenes think whatever I had to edit it out um yeah nothing spectacular this week I think I don't know yeah well no there was some drama but I feel like what is a week without drama I will say that I thought that this must have been one of the first kits that I bought from um Apple Blossom Prints because it felt like um regular matte paper yeah and even well in the planner it doesn't feel like regular matte paper but it was right re like regular matte paper when I was taking it off the paper um which I find weird because I thought that when I buy it from the website so I think I bought this when they still had an Etsy, sh Etsy shop um and then I purchased a couple things recently from their website and I want to say the stuff from the website is more of the premium matte paper so um because I think that's why I was like, I'm not going to buy from them anymore. But I think I changed my mind and I couldn't remember. Like, that's why. Um, a thing I never really even, like, kind of thought about was the fact that, like, Scroll Prince Co. And I think that's the only shop that I buy that has um, glossy paper. Has glossy paper. And so I didn't even think about the fact that it's going to glare. So we're going to have to see how bad it glares when I um, use the first kit. Because I did buy quite a few kits. Plus I have like mystery kits. And so um, I should have one coming up in the next couple of weeks for um, like the f like couple fall spreads I'm going to do in November. So one of the hardest things was to decide the full boxes for this week. Obviously, it's, I feel like that's like always a big deal. So I did decide to use the scene boxes. So um, there's two scenes. There probably was more than two scenes, but this is the two scenes that I used was the um, like bed and then the um, like couch in the library kind of thing. I don't know. I really liked how this spread came out, though. Um, believe it or not, I kind of wish I would have used more foil, like foil header overlays. I just, I don't know. I don't know. But I know I will get to use, oh, yes, in my next plan with me, I will get to use my Pink Diamond Planner Co. like mystery kit. So it will be like full on like using a um, spread with a like foil bundle and a full kit so I haven't done that yet since I've been back like memory pl planning or whatever I think I always just use like little I say little but I feel like mini kits have a lot in them and I get a lot of use out of them so I like them all right I don't have much to say I guess I should have brought out my this or that but I didn't do that and I apologize um nothing notable oh no this week my little one was su sick um it started Monday and then um I could tell she was off actually it started Sunday and I slept like crap on Sunday night and then Monday she had a performance and I feel like she only went to school because she could do that performance and she really wanted to do it because she had been practicing um but every time I kept asking her like what was wrong if anything was wrong she kept saying no but then wouldn't talk so I knew her throat was hurting her um so Monday um definitely kind of started to know she was sick and then um and she actually admitted after she got home that she was sick and then she was bad pretty much I mean even now she still has a very bad cough um 
so and it is November 1st when I'm doing this voiceover so just for reference yeah so the 24th she started and then um like the fever started on I think Monday night or Tuesday night and then it kind of went away but she then she just like wasn't eating for a few days and um my oldest has done my oldest has had RSV and I know that's like super rampant right now so yeah it's always scary um like I just remember our I remember what it was like going through the RSV so um yeah it's scary go to the hospital if your child has RSV or you know just go with your gut basically because we first got diagnosed bronchi bronchitis for our um older one when she had RSV and they sent us home with medicine and still like nothing she was severely de dehydrated and yeah she basically like was throwing up air like it was throwing up foam throwing up air like it was the scariest thing and she was pumping to breathe that was the scariest thing so don't want to live through that again so go with your gut and if you think that um so we went to a different hospitals what happened is like we went to an urgent care they sent us home with like bronchitis type medicine not even bronchitis it was like an antibiotic but an antibiotic won't help you when you have RSV um so we saw that she was pumping and so we tried to take her to her primary care doctor and they're like nope take her to to emergency right now so we did and um then she got a lot of help and we were in the hospital for like two or three days so yeah that happened a while ago but it was kind of like in the middle of me like going through my bachelor's program so it was a lot <laughs> um anyway so I am almost pretty much done putting it down at the base of this spread so I guess I could get started on the day by day um I know I'm going to put the date covers down. Oh, so these um, date dots that I'm going to use, I always forget to mention who they're from. Um, but these ones are from an, a shop that was called, um, oh my gosh, I cannot remember. I don't think she has a shop anymore. I'm totally blanking and I probably can see it if I like look close enough. Yeah, I don't remember. Oh, Planner Love SP. That's what it was. Um, but yeah, she's no longer a shop as far as I know. You can check it out. Um, but I follow her on Instagram, and I don't think that she, like, shows. I, I, I think she hardly posts, so I don't think that she has a shop anymore. I don't know. Everything gets so lost in there. That's why I'm, like, starting to unfriend things that I don't like or, like, bots that I followed or something. I don't know. I just, yeah. Okay, so this week I am going to be marking work with this script from Plana Hannah. I absolutely love this script. Pretty sure this is the font 5 from Plana Hannah, um, but I love it. And I want to get more scripts in this font. Um, then the next thing that I'm going to mark with a Sugar Pop Fizz um, icon, it's a cute little like fall icon, is that... Um, like I was saying before, my five-year-old had a kinder performance, and so I went and, like, watched it, because I'm obviously on campus, so I went to the back and watched it, <clears throat> and she was super excited because I feel bad. I, like, didn't tell anybody she was doing it, and so she was like, no one's gonna show up, and I was like, yeah, that's my fault, so when she saw me, she, like, was all waving at me, so it was cute, and it made my day, and I felt bad. <laughs> Um, then the next thing that I marked with a Crafts by Towie um, icon and a Scribble Prince Co. Tired AF script was that I was Tired AF. Then I marked with a um, Creative Cavern Studio box of tissue was that Olive was, well actually both my kids are sick, Olive and Helena. Helena just had like a runny nose all week. Um, so hers wasn't as bad as like what Olive was going through, but I did mark um, Helena for that day. <clears throat> well I marked both of them and then I mark with a um Carly Plans Happy Mail icon is that I got my scribble got a scribble prints co um Happy Mail and the last thing that I mark for that day with a Carly Plans like takeout thing takeout bag and stuff takeout bag box whatever it is um is that DoorDash canceled on me which is the first time I've ever had that so um we ordered Wendy's and like right away my daughter like that's we were fighting over what we wanted and I finally like caved and got her that and then they canceled it within like five minutes and so we had to order something else which started like a whole nother argument probably <laughs> um so then the next thing that I mark with a 
um, sticker patch script, payday script, and a tiny little tulip girl is that it was payday this day. Then I mark work. After that, I mark with a tissue box from Calf Crafts by Towie that all of us sick again this day. So this is the first day that she missed school. She missed school Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and she went back to school Friday, but she probably could have stayed home one more day. But our rules are you are gone for three days. Uh, after three days, you have to take them to the doctor. So um, honestly, she didn't have anything that bad wrong with her on Friday except for that she was just still super congested and so I was like you gotta go to school today um okay then I mark with a tiny little tulip girl that's angry I am trying to see what I marked um I marked that I was embarrassed and upset this day I can't really say why um yeah let's just say something happened at work and it was super embarrassing um, not to me, like, I didn't do something, it was somebody else did something, and it was kind of embarrassing, like, the way they acted. Um, then I marked with a book icon from Pen or Pixie Co. was that it was the book fair. It was a book fair this, this whole week, but, um, I actually purchased my kids' books this day. Then I marked with a Fox and Pip girl, um, is that my daughter lost her lunch bag which she found like the next day, but she lost it and she was like freaking out. And I'm like, okay, we'll figure it out. Just can have gone far. Um, and then the last thing that I mark on Tuesday with a Tilly B plans girl, like watching TV and a Carly plans binge watch script is that I binge watched TV when I got home. Um, moving on to Wednesday. The first thing that I mark is work. After that, I mark with a band-aid from Tilly B Plans is that I had acid reflux this day. This is weird because normally I get acid reflux at night um, and then I'll like take Tums and it's usually okay. Um, sometimes I'll wake up in the middle of the night with that like acidy feeling in my mouth, but I didn't have that until the next day and I had it all day long. It was gross. I hated it. Um, but that didn't stop me from... After that, I mark with a paper shower icon is that I had Jack in the Box. I think that actually ended up making it worse because I remember feeling like off after that. Then I marked with a um, Carly Plans Happy Mail is that I got an order from Pink Diamond Planner Co. Then I marked with another one of the tissue boxes from Creative Catherine Studio is that my daughter was sick again this day. Then I marked with these, um, this Carly Plans, like, sticker sheets is that I ordered from Scribble Prints Co. And the last thing that I marked on Wednesday with this, um, redhead sticker screw off was that I was upset with my husband. Yeah, moving on to Thursday. Uh, the first thing that I mark on Thursday with this, um, Carly Plans, like, takeout bag is that I had this place called Yellow Basket. My boss, um, I don't know, sometimes she's like in a good mood and sometimes she's like not, but this day, um, she was like, oh, what are you going to get for lunch today? Which she never asked me. She usually just goes and gets her lunch and then I go and get my lunch. Um, she's like, are you going to order something? And I was like, well, I have to go get lunch today. And she was like, well, I was like, well, but I'm on this train. Like I was on some kind of training, so I had to wait. And, she, and I was like, I can't even think of what I wanted. Like, nothing sounded good. And she's like, well, I'm going to go here. Do you want... She's like, this is what I'm going to get. A ham and cheese sandwich. Like, it was a hot ham and cheese sandwich. And I was like, oh, yeah, that sounds good. And so she bought it for me. So that was kind of cool. That was something different that happened that day. Um, then I marked work. Then I marked with a tiny little tulip. Is that um, that day was an emotional draining day. We just had a couple of people in our office. And there's just a lot of emotions and stuff. Um yeah it was intense it was a lot it was like therapy sessions like it just was a lot to deal with especially when you have me and my boss who are very like not really like fluffy people so yeah um then I mark with a Tilly Plans girl again that I argued with my husband that day then I marked with a um, Cross by Towie tissue box was that my daughter was sick again this day. And the last thing that I mark on Thursday with a Carly Plans um, bed early script and a Carly Plans pillow was that I went to bed early.
if you guys hear a squeaking sound that is our dryer it is broken if you can't tell and it is annoying and squeaking and you can hear it through all throughout the house um it is the most annoying thing sorry mom if you're listening but it is the most annoying thing and we can hear it in my room it's ridiculous i have no idea it sounds like it's like in the next room at this point but i assure you that the dryer is downstairs and the not like i mean it's probably like right below us underneath but yeah no it's crazy that we can hear it in our room and it's gonna be hard to sleep if that's going all night anyways <laughs> moving on to friday first thing that i mark is work then i mark with a carly plans um like hat and a plan a hannah script is that it was my brother's birthday then I marked with a Tilly B. Nope. Tiny little tulip girl is that it was hectic at work um, and a teacher quit this day. So yeah, fun times all around. Um, then I marked with a um, icon from the kit. It's like candy is that the, we had our costume parade this day. Um, so we actually, our kids, the students had a four-day weekend, so they had Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday off. We always do the day after Halloween off, so the office staff got to choose if they were going to work Monday or Tuesdays. Tuesday, and teachers got to work. Teachers worked Tuesday, but they had the option of working from home. So um, lots of people got four-day weekends. I worked Monday, but anyways, so that's why we have the costume parade this day instead of Halloween day. Um, then I mark with a Carly Plans icon and a script from OK Plans is that I got Happy Mail this day. I received some Happy Mail from Sugar Pop Fizz and Plana Hannah. Then I mark with an icon from the kit is that we watch Twitches this night, me and my little one. And um, this is when she was starting to feel a little bit better. So we were like at night watching it. We both fell asleep watching it. So we didn't finish it. We finished it on Saturday, but I wanted to mark it on Friday. Moving on to Saturday. The first thing that I mark with a Simply Beautiful Plans um, nail polish icon is that I had a nail appointment this day. And then I mark with a Sugar Pop Fizz um, icon, one of these like fall icons, is that we carved pumpkins this day. I didn't. My sister and my brother and my kids, they all work together and I just sat there and like talked to them while they did it. I just don't do pumpkins, so I'm so thankful I have my siblings to help them. Then I marked with a um, icon from Carly Plans is that we had Taco Bell this day. And then I marked with a icon from the kit. It's like a um, popcorn is that we watched The Nightmare Before Christmas this day. Then I marked with a craft penguin planner. Um icon is that we I finished um pretty little liars oh my gosh I forgot what it's called it's like this it's not a spin off it's pretty little liar I don't know it's the one that's got the all different like it's a whole new cast younger it has Bailey oh my gosh she's she's from Hallmark movies um she's from the good witch that's what she's from but um she's like a pregnant girl in that movie or in that show pretty little liars crap I can't remember what it's called but yeah we finished it that day and um they had me watch it with them. My siblings did. So we finished it that day. So I want to mark it. Then I marked with a Hallmark TV thing from Fox and Pippet that I watched Hallmark movies that night. Moving on to Sunday. The first thing that I mark with a Wendy's um, bag from Scribble Prince Co. is that we had Wendy's this day. Then I marked with a um icon from the kit it's like blankets and a Kinsey's creations script namaste in bed is that um I actually had a lot of neck pain this day so I had a um pinched nerve and I had neck pain on Sunday mm, Sunday Monday uh, was that it I feel like it started Saturday night Sunday was really bad Monday was okay except for at work it was kind of unbearable and then um it's kind of went away Tuesday but I did a bunch of exercises and took a lot of medicine and so yeah so that's why I said that because I laid in bed all day long because it was just unbearable um then I mark with a Tilly B Plans girl is that I binge watched some tv this day 
I mark with this um, cute little ghost icon is that I vented on the phone with a coworker, And then the last thing that I mark on Sunday with this Scribble Prince Co. Um, YouTube laptop and a YouTube binge script from Saucy Sticker Co. is that I watched a lot of YouTube on Sunday. Um, but anyways, that is going to be it for this week. I hope you guys had a wonderful Halloween. I'm excited to do Halloween week because obviously that's where I'm physically at right in real life. And I hope you guys had a safe one and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.